You may know taking a little melatonin can help you drift off to sleep, but Erin Gussler recommends taking it sparingly, such as when you travel. She says long-term use can have the opposite effect. The more you take supplementally, the less your body thinks it needs to produce. Instead, she recommends encouraging your body to make melatonin through diet. To do that, you should know melatonin comes from serotonin, and serotonin comes from tryptophan. Remember, tryptophan is what makes us feel sleepy after Thanksgiving dinner. So actually eating turkey for breakfast or lunch, you get that nice dose of tryptophan, which then, as the day progresses, you convert it to serotonin, and then melatonin. Salty foods for dinner may lead to thirst in the early morning hours. Try drinking water a couple hours before bed to hydrate you. And keep in mind, alcoholic drinks can also dehydrate and contrary to popular belief, will not help you sleep. It actually can drop your blood sugars at night and it prevents you from getting into a deep restful sleep. The most important sleep support your body needs is magnesium. Foods with magnesium are figs, sweet potatoes, prunes, almonds, and dark chocolate. Remember, dark chocolate also has a small bit of caffeine, so Gusler recommends eating it at least an hour before bed.